dissertation or thesis submission, your responsibilities. Purpose. This video is to help you understand your responsibilities as an author submitting a thesis or dissertation for distribution. Your responsibilities. Number one, copyright permissions if needed. Number two, alt text for non-textual elements. Number three, optical character recognition called OCR. Four, PDFs only. You need to get copyright permission licensing for any work that goes beyond fair use. The trouble comes when you use graphs, tables, inventories or assessments, large data sets, conclusions from various authors, or quote, large portions of a work. In these cases, it is best to get copyright permission from the author and include that in your dissertation or theses. Copyright permissions are often called licensing, a license to reuse copyrighted material. Stanford's Guide to Copyright and Fair Use. Spend some time on this site reading about permissions. It is under the Overview tab. This site has an excellent overview of copyright. I highly recommend spending time here. A second responsibility that you must fulfill is that for every non-text element, chart, graph, or image, you need to create an alt text describing each element. In Microsoft Word, you are given the option for alt text. When you do this, be precise with the description, but also be concise for the sake of the reader. Alt text is intended for those that are visually impaired and are using a screen reader. Third responsibility, be sure to be using the most current version of software. Current versions of Adobe and Microsoft will turn your text into OCR-capable PDF files. OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition. The benefit of this is that the text can be read by screen readers, converted into audiobooks, and allows something like Google Translate to translate the text into another language. The last responsibility that I will mention is related to the previous two the file that is submitted online to the ETD administrator or for our institutional repository must be a PDF. You cannot submit a Word document, .doc or .docx. It must be a PDF. Any questions about your rights or responsibility as an author or about the submission process should be directed to the library. Email listed below. You can also talk to us through a live chat during business hours. Questions about your topic or the defense should be directed to your committee chair, supervisor, or readers.